October 11th, 2023. Give us your full name. Coach uh, Frank Garcia, um, head coach of the Fireball Falcon Football Youth Program. What has been the winning formula for Fireball Falcons this season? I think the winning formula for us has been commodity. Um, a lot of the kids actually really feeling like they're brothers, taking care of each other. Nobody wanting to uh, do anything negative to each other. It's been nothing but positive. I feel being positive, it's always going to be a winning formula because then it generates and everybody just starts just adapting to it. So being positive, I think it, that's my winning formula in everything I do. Uh, negative puts you in a, in a situation where now you got to climb out of it. So definitely positivity. I think that's exactly the formula that has got us to where we're at now. How do you prepare the mindset of your players for the Madera Ranchos and Division Championship? I think it starts with uh, us kind of knowing a little bit of what they've done in the past. Uh, we kind of go off of figuring out who their head coaches. So if we've actually played against them in the past, we kind of know some of their tendencies. Um, getting our own guys ready to go, um, letting them know that every game you have to go out and play it. Um, any given Saturday, anything could happen. So I think we're definitely ready for them. I think we've been ready for everybody this year because our, our motto is we always got to raise our stock up. If I raise our stock up, it's only going to get better from there. Um, and we keep that momentum that we've been pushing. October 21st at 7 p.m. at Eagle Field in Fireball. Yes, sir. The, the division championship is going to be played. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. How do you keep players focused and motivated for the biggest test of their lives? And what advice do you give your players? Uh, my biggest advice is do not get comfortable. Once you get comfortable, it gets placent. And then a lot of bad stuff could happen because everybody starts thinking you want something that you haven't even even begun to process. So um, definitely got to always think about uh, what it is that we're shooting for, our goals. So I think uh, being motivated and this weekend, I think it's going to be fun because everything that we've done since day one is going to start showing up. Um, from the beginning, hard work has also been an aspect that we kind of carry. So with that being said, I think we're, I think we're prepared. Um, even if you end up not coming out as victorious, as long as we play four quarters and that team has to beat us through four quarters, then hey, the best, the best team's gonna win that day. Coach, you work so hard with your team to get to this special moment. What is your message to the fans and who do you wanna dedicate the season to? I would like to say to the fans, thank you for supporting us. Um, last game was wild out. Um, all the fans were really uh, supporting us. Um, man, it's, it felt electric. So now for us to have to build the standard and always bring that electric electricity back to the fans, it's our it's our mission, it's our goal. So for the fans, thank you for supporting us and uh, come out this weekend and um, support us a little bit more. Not this weekend, but next week because we got to buy. So support us, give us that encouragement, and uh, and we'll make it a we'll make it a night to remember. Who do you want to dedicate this special moment to? I say it's going to be dedicated to everybody that has been a part of my life. Um, I think they all deserve a credit for it as well. Um, not So with that being said, everybody that has been a part of it, definitely dedicated to them. Coach, it's been a while since you uh, were here playing for a championship. Uh, more or less, how long it's been and, and how, how do you feel to be in this stage already again? Well, I mean, we make playoffs all the time. Last year we got pretty close again. so. It's it's that thing where we knew we were right there, so it, it, it keep growing fire. Um, the last time I've done it myself, we got we got two years in a row, uh, three years total with the staff that I created, um, and I think uh, that was I want to say maybe about about nine nine years ago. So very excited, very excited um, to see what this season is going to bring out to us. We're up for the challenge. We're up for everything that we have to do to get better. So. I think uh, I think we're gonna be good, and uh, it's also gonna be senior night, so plus homecoming, so it should be a special night. Um, hopefully, we can make everybody proud, uh, come out victorious, get get what we've been working for. But that's a small goal to what we want to get to. Um, everybody keeps talking about this this level. I see it just as one step in our goal because this is not where 
I feel I want to stop at. I want to try to be in Mendota at the end of the season and do what we're supposed to do and hopefully get that victory there and then it'll be a special season. So, but definitely, definitely appreciate the guys. A special season for me would be that, putting the final, final step to all the work that we put into. Best of luck to you, coach. Thank you, appreciate it.